Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. I'm going to try to vlog a little bit. I'm um, not good at doing that. So I wasn't planning on doing this like an everyday thing like everybody else. But I figure on the weekends it might be an okay thing to do. Possibly, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I kind of have a busy day. I have a nail in my tire, so I have to get that taken care of. And I have tons of things to do when it comes to like Patreon and stickers and all that fun stuff. So yeah, got lots to do this weekend. I'm trying to get most of it done Saturday so that I don't have to do a lot tomorrow. But um, yeah, I've been awake since like 5.30, just like on Instagram and stuff, just scrolling. It's so cold. It's like 43 here, um, which is pretty cold. And I never turned the heat on, so it was nice just being in bed. Uh, but I'm going to kind of get started on the day because it's almost 7. So I'm going to get up and take you along. All right, so first things first, I'm going to wash my face and, you know, brush your teeth and all that fun stuff. And then, um, oh, I'm going to go take the trash out. Yeah, it's an amazing day. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do first. Okay, so all done with that portion of the day. I realize I don't think I've shown my new place. It's kind of a mess right now, though. Um, but I do want to show, like, my Christmas tree. I did it a little bit different this year, so definitely want to show that. All right, so I'm still working on putting out stuff. I was hoping to have all this stuff up, like, the beginning of the month, but it kind of just got away from me a little bit. But at least the tree is done. And I actually made like little pom-poms with one of those little, there's like a little gadget that you can use to make these. So I made, cause I wanted garland, uh, but the ones I was finding in the store were too big and it's kind of expensive. So I just got like two things of yarn and did this myself while I was like watching TV and stuff. But honestly, the first thing I do when I'm here ooh, is I'm going to turn the light on so that way it looks prettier. Um, yeah, you can see the tree a little bit better. So I went with a white and like a neutral theme because in the past I used to go more like red, like this wreath, the red and the silver. Um, but I want to do something different. So went with neutral. I'll show my bedroom tree in a little oh, later. Uh, cause I have a different color scheme on that one, but for this big one, I wanted it to be more neutral. And then this guy, this was on my door. I couldn't fit the hook on this door. It didn't, it, it wouldn't close. The door wouldn't close. So I got a command strip and I have the worst. I just am not good with command strips. Uh, this thing fell after two days. So I think I have to get a stronger command strip because the one that I got was kind of it, was, it wasn't it was a good one. I didn't know that when I bought it. So yeah, I need to put that up. Also put batteries in it because I have lights on it. So that way they can light up. But yeah, that's my tree. And I wanna show you a project I've been working on for forever. This is my forever project. Making this wreath, it's like a dupe of an anthropology wreath that I'd saw um, a bunch of, yeah, I'd seen a bunch of people on Instagram doing well a few a couple of people and it's so cute so it's using these little houses that I got from the dollar spot again I've been working on this for a while it just has not I have not actually put it together all I did was spray paint a green wreath that I got from Hobby Lobby like after Christmas so it was like a really cheap cheap price for this because I got it on sale and I've had them for years and they've just been sitting and not being used so I spray painted this with that spray paint right there. And yeah, just make it more neutral. I plan on putting this inside the house. This isn't gonna go outside the house. Um, so that way, oh, and I'm gonna put lights on it too. That's the plan. I'm hoping to actually do that this weekend, <laughs> maybe today. So you might see that process as well. Um, but I wanna show my cute new wreath that I'm making with some houses. And then, oh, of course, these bottle brush trees that I got from Michael's like for 60 50% off that's pretty good too but yeah that's what's going on over here which has been taking up like half of my table this whole time it's not good all right so I need to go take some trash out 
I always like to do this really early in the morning because try to avoid people as much as possible here. Um, not that I have a problem with people, it's just, yeah. I don't want to meet anybody at the trash, at the, at the big trash cans. So I'm going to go do that. All right, so heading out of my place so that way I can take this trash out. I thought I was going to avoid seeing any neighbors because it was pretty early, but some of the neighbors were actually putting up a little yard sale, so I had to stop filming to pass them by and say hi. Uh, but I did make it to the trash cans, and I threw out all the stuff. Okay, I'm like really shocked how cold it is here. It is still like 43 degrees, which for here is really, really cold. Um, and I think next week it's supposed to get down to like the 30s. So that should be interesting because I don't own any like winter clothes because it's never cold here. Um, but I do need to get like a jacket because I'm going to DC in like beginning of March and I think it's still cold over there around that time. I don't know. Last time I went to DC around that time, it was freezing. So I don't know if that's the case for this upcoming year, but yeah, it's cold. So <laughs> surprised by that. Uh, but I got the trash taken care of and now I am going to probably just eat something really quick and then get going. Okay, so I I was thinking of making like toast for like actually eating something probably better than what I'm going to eat now. But my mom and my sister and my stepdad, they went to LA and if you're from LA, then you know. But if you go to visit LA, definitely stop at Porto's. It's amazing, I loved it. So I actually requested them to bring Porto's back so that way I could have these cheese, the cheese rolls, I think that's what they're called. Those are my favorite. But they ended up bringing back like everything. I'll like insert a picture. It was absolutely ridiculous and I loved it. Um, they brought back everything and so much Porto's. Um, yeah, it was pretty amazing. I took some to my coworkers, a whole box. They loved it. Um, I still have a little bit left because I've been working through all of this. So I've been kind of going through. Oh, I still have a little bit left of this berry muffin. I've just been eating pieces of it. And then I have a chocolate chip one. I don't know. Maybe I'll just eat the rest of that. And then, I don't know. I kind of want toast and eggs. We'll see. But for sure I'll eat this because, you know, it's been here for a bit. Um, I did go to Nespresso to buy some new coffee, and I love the new coffee that I got. I think if you have a Nespresso, let me get it right here. Let's see which one is it. Hold, please. Let me grab this. Oh, this one. This one. So good. Where's the name? Uh, oh, it's right there in front of my face. Bianco Doppio. This one's good. It's a double espresso. So love that. I also got this one, which is a single shot espresso, Bianco Piccolo. So got that one. And then I got this one. I love the box of this one. This one's so pretty. It is one of their, I think this is one of their holiday ones, maybe. I really like espressos because I like to use these to make like my um, iced coffees. So I, whenever there's a new espresso shot, like pod from Nespresso, I will grab it. And this one's supposed to be like, have notes of like a, like a fruity one. It's like a raspberry, I think. Yeah, it's fruity and cereal, which I've never had a fruity espresso. So I'm interested to see, maybe I'll do this one hot. This one's, and it's so cold that I can do hot now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I got some Nespresso, but even though I have this, I want to go to Starbucks. It's really bad. Um, so I'll probably go to Starbucks later, but I do like having these on hand just for a quick little iced coffee or regular coffee. So this will probably be my breakfast. Um, but yeah, I want to also show you my cute little cups. I love these cups. They're so cute. Oh, and then I got that gingerbread sign from Michael's. Love it. Before I start working on stuff, I want to show you this super cute package I got from the Curvy Planner. So Annabelle, she sent this to me. Thank you again, Annabelle. These are 
so amazing. She surprised me with some, like, uh, yeah, she's amazing. So she makes the cutest planner charms. And I was trying to order these. And every time, because I don't really go on Instagram too much anymore. I'm kind of on there. I, I need to be better about being on there and posting, but I just haven't. And so I kept missing when she released these. And by the time I would remember and go on there and uh, like I would see like a story that reminding me, they were all sold out or all the ones that I wanted were sold out. So I asked her like, hey, when are you doing another release? And she's like, oh, I'll make you some, I'll send you. So she sent me the cutest thing. They're absolutely adorable. I believe that she still has some of these, like some planner charms on her site still. So definitely give her a follow. She has a Instagram. Yeah, she has an Instagram. And she has a um, YouTube channel. Um, but look at how cute these are. So this is like a little snow, a snow girl. That's so cute. I love that. So these are little planner charms. You can clip them on like the, I'll show in a bit because I have my little travelers notebook here, or petite journal here. Um, so most of them are Christmassy, but there is one that's not. Ooh, got confetti on there. Okay, this one's a Christmas tree. How adorable is that? Super cute. This one is a really cute Santa. I love the pink and the flowers. How pretty. Okay, this one's my favorite because this one's not the Christmas one, so I can use this one all year round. But it's like a monstera leaf. It's absolutely gorgeous, so that's definitely going to be on my planner at all times. And it mixes well with, like, these designs, so I can, like, have it. All right, next is, I love this little sweater. It's adorable. So I got a super cute sweater, Christmas sweater. My favorite color is green, so I love that one. And then this adorable little gingerbread guy. How cute. So I'll have her, shot, like, her website linked down in the description because these are amazing. The quality is so good. I can't wait to put these on my planner. I'm gonna stick this one on my planner. So actually, which ones I think? I wanna do, I'll put two on my planner so you can kind of see how they look. Okay, so let me do that and then I'll show you the results. Okay, so this kind of works out perfectly because in this journal, this petite journal, I use paper clips to mark my spot. In, the, in these because I have three of them in here so I've been using paper clips so these work out perfectly so I got the leaf one and then I got the super cute oops sorry the super cute little tree oh my gosh how cute is that so yeah you can stick them on the top and then they dangle they dangle all cute on your planner how adorable the tree is so cute the monster leaf love it all right, so some of these, I, I looked on this site. I don't know if they're all available anymore, but there are some still available. Again, I just recommend uh, following along with Annabelle, the Curvy Planner. So you can stay up to date on releases because you're going to want these. They are so cute. Cute little addition to your, your planner. Love it. All right, so now to the sticker making part of my day. So I am going to print out some of these stickers and yeah it's pretty easy I love the Cricut it's the best thing ever so I'm gonna print these out because I want to send I want to have to go to the post office again I have to I'm telling you I have a busy day so post office need to um, ship out stuff so just going to take off the bleed I want to use the dialog box um, before I hit print though, I need to open up my cabinet because I don't have that ready to go yet. Hold on. Oh, and I'm low on ink. Oh, that's right. I need to put ink into my printer. So I got to do that before I start printing. So this is the cabinet that I have. Look at this super cute picture of my nephew. That's my favorite. He's so cute. I have to make a copy for my sister because apparently I have that only copy of that one. Um, but yeah, this is my cabinet where I have my Cricut. Let me open this up. I have my Cricut and my printer. So I need to put the new, ooh, focus. Yeah, I need to put the new ink that I have there because I don't have any 
where the color ding turn this on and get this ready so that way I can print. But I just wanna show my little cabinet that I have all of this in. Cause I try my best to not have like everything out since it's all in my like living space, not in its own separate room. So I try to hide as much of it as I can. Um, and I love this cabinet. I got it from Ikea, it was like a hundred bucks. It's perfect. All right, so I got everything going. I have one printing, one cutting. Well, about to cut. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a few of these. I already have some made up. I just need to get a few more done. And then I'm currently watching a Lifetime movie, a Christmas one, uh, since, yeah, I don't know what else to watch. So I just have this on just in the background because I, I don't really have to pay attention to it. Uh, but I turn the volume off because I do not want to get copyrighted. So yeah, but this one, I just started as like a bakery, a baking Christmassy kind of movie. So yeah, we'll see how this is. Okay, so I just finished filming a video. Sometimes I film videos like right before they come up. So you, this video will come up uh, it's Saturday. So it'll probably go up in within a few hours. I'm gonna edit it really quick and then put it out there for everybody to watch. But I wanna show you what I did. If you haven't seen this video yet, um, I'll have it linked, but it is about washi. Just some fun, different ways to use washi. I really love these like washi stickers from the washi tape shop. So I did go over those too, because those are fun to use. And I love that they're washi material. They are so cute, love those. And then I did some like faux washi, which that was fun to do too. So yeah, just wanted to share that. I just filmed a video and I'm going to edit and then um, finish watching that Christmas movie and go on to the next thing. All right, so I'm in my bedroom right now. I just wanted to show my tree, my bedroom tree. Uh, it's like a little skinny tree, so it doesn't take up too much room, which I love. It's flocked, which growing up, we always had a flock tree, so love that I have at least one. Uh, but yeah, it's super cute. More colorful, obviously, than the one in the living room. I went with red, pink, and blue got some fun ornaments oh I love like the little collecting the Starbucks ones I have one there I just got one where is it oh this one just got that one so cute oh and then I have one that I haven't put up yet that's probably like my favorite ornament that's gonna go on this tree I still have like stuff going on over here but this one right here look how cute this one is it is the bullseye the Target bullseye dog on a sled, I got these super cute ones from Target, or not sorry, Target, Target, Walmart. Walmart has really good stuff, like super cheap, so I'm going to put those up too, but I got to put this guy up. He's probably going to go, like, centered. We got Starbucks and Target. <laughs> too bad I don't have any, like, planner stuff. I could put discs, but... I kind of don't want to make any more ornaments. I've already made so much stuff. Uh, but I'm going to stick this up here. But that's my tree. I just wanted to show the tree. Don't have much else going on. I do have like, I just switched out my blanket to like a more Christmassy one. Throw blanket, but that's about it. But I love having it on. It's so cute. Oh, and then I have this. I found, I had this and I wanted to cover up the cord because... You can see the cord. If I don't put that there, the cord um, kind of goes like in front, which I'll show. I'll show right now. Let me see. See, this is what it looked like before. I didn't like the way that looked, so I put this in front, so that way kind of covers it like that. And then I just use a blanket. Just a. I have tons of blankets, so I just use a blanket for the skirt. But yeah, that's my tree. It's super cute. I love it. All right, so I wanted to show something that I do in my room that, because the lighting in here is so good. Like in the rest of my place, the lighting is very dark because I have like all these trees outside that cover, yeah, they block all the light. So I can't really take pictures in the living area, but in my bedroom, perfect lighting. So I just do a lot of natural lighting. I don't 
do like the ring light or anything like that. I try at, to just use natural lighting and I do have a lamp that has like a daylight light bulb in it in my room. So if I do have to take pictures at night, at least I have the daylight light bulb. So, but preferably during the day is when I like to take the pictures. This one right here I'm setting up is for Heather's new book, which released on Friday. So I'm gonna post a picture of it, of the spread that I made it is neutral florals. So I put a couple of planners, like I just kept it all black and white. And then take I took this picture. So I'll post the picture up on Instagram because I've been really bad about posting on Instagram. Uh, but I just wanted to show my setup. I just have a, this thing is so old, but it still works very, very well. It's very dirty. But once you edit the pictures, you don't see any of that stuff. I love this like purple color. Um, so I have these poster, no, foam boards. Foam boards I got from Walmart. And I colored each side with a different version, like a different purple. So this is like the lighter purple, the darker purples on the back. But I prefer this light purple. This one really works very nicely with a lot of my spreads. Even if I don't have purple in the spread, I just like the way the background looks. It's a very nice, it's a very nice color. So I've been using this one. But yeah, just use this to take my pictures. If you ever wanted to know how I take my pictures, uh, this is what I do on my bed. That's how I do it. And then I have this other one I wanted to share too. Another foam, bo foam board situation that I just use some um, contact paper, like wallpaper. Yeah, it's contact paper. This wood grain one. This actually used to be on my desk. I had this pattern and then I went to like a different color. But I just wrapped it in paper. So this is another background. These are the two that I tend to use the most because I like the way that they look in the pictures. The purple is my favorite, but um, if I want something a little bit more, like, just different, just have um, something not purple all the time, I'll use this wood grain one. I like that one. Um, but yeah, that that's about it. That's how I set up my pictures. All right, so I am out and about. Uh, I was going to go to the tire store first, but I realized there's one on the corner by my house. So I'm just going to go there because while I wait, I can just walk home and I don't have to waste time not working on stuff so I went to Joann's and I got a couple of on pickup orders that I picked up so I'll show that when I get back home what I picked up and then I'm gonna place a Starbucks order and get some Starbucks because I definitely want some Starbucks today so and then I'll also talk about like my drink order because I get a lot of questions about that I post about it on Instagram like pictures and then people always ask me what it is so I'll explain the drink order Here's my drink order. It's a triple espresso in a venti cup with vanilla sweet cream foam, four pumps of vanilla, two pumps of caramel, extra non, oh yes, that's an extra splash of milk and extra caramel drizzle. That sweet cream foam, so good. So, so good. So just dropped my car off and I am walking back home Thankfully, it's a beautiful day out today, and it's a very, very short walk back to my place, so that's good. All right, so I just dropped off my car at the tire shop, which is actually right down the corner of my house. So I was able to walk back really easily, thankfully, because there was tons of people waiting in that little, like, waiting room, and I did not want to be there. It <laughs> did not look fun. So thankfully, I was able to walk back, and I can show you what I got. From Joanne. They said it's only gonna be an hour. Hopefully an hour. I'm hoping that it's just patching the tire and I don't have to get a new tire. Uh, because I don't need new tires right now. Like I, I still have a good amount. Like I don't have brand new tires, but I'm still good for a little bit. Um, but my coworker yesterday, we, we just all realized we had nails in our tires. So um, and it's not from work. We thought it was from work too, because I work in manufacturing. And sometimes some of like the little nails, they get in our air in the parking area. And um, we checked, it's not any of the nails that like we use at work. We just all like two of my other coworkers and myself all have nails in our tire. So my other coworker yesterday went and dealt with it during work. 
And for some reason, they sold her two new tires that weren't even effective. It was strange. So I don't want to get like, you know, sold anything that I shouldn't have to buy. Um, but I'm going to stand my ground. Like, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping it's just a patch and I don't have to buy a new tire. So, um, yeah, we'll see in an hour what they tell me. Um, but I want to show you what I got from Joanne. I picked up another, if you watched my planner lineup video, I'm using the monthly, this monthly, this exact one for work. And it has these really nice like checklist pages, but not enough, not enough checklist pages. I'm constantly writing things down and it's not going to be enough for me for work. So I decided I'm going to pick up another one. I'm hoping that having two of these will be enough. Uh, we shall see. I wish they had these sheets in a like extension pack so I didn't have to buy a whole new planner, but it seems like right now it's just a whole planner I'm going to have to buy. But I did get this on sale plus an additional 20% off because I did a pickup order. So it was only $15 for this planner. So that's pretty good. Um, but I'm going to use that and then I picked up a big planner because I'm going to do some custom spreads in this one. So this is the pat one and it's really, really cute. And um, this again, also, cause I did a pickup order, I was able to get additional. It seems like they really try to promote the pickup order. Um, so they do more discounts, I feel with that. So definitely check your app before you play, before you go to see if you can place an order for pickup, if it's like in stock and you can do a pickup order because sometimes they offer different coupons for pickup order only instead of like in-store. Yeah, definitely check that out. But right now I did notice they did have an in-store coupon. So it, it changes, every day it changes. So definitely check the app to see if there's maybe a better deal buying it online and picking it up versus actually going into the store and picking it up. But yeah, I got that one pretty cheap too. I think it was like 17, $17 I think, something like that. Yeah, so that's it for now. I'm going to work on some stuff while I'm waiting for my car, hopefully, to just get patched up. Uh, we shall see, but I'm going to work on some things and get on with the day. It's only, oh gosh, it's only one o'clock. <laughs> it's a long day. It's been a long day, so. but I'm glad I was able to document most of it for you. All right, so I don't just have a planner problem planner sticker book collection problem I also have a collect all the target birds <laughs> so yeah this is another problem but they're so cute and they're only five bucks and I don't get them all I only get the ones that kind of go with like my aesthetic so each year I'll usually pick up some birds I think oh gosh they have oh they have dates on them um, this one's new. I think this is from 2022. I think they're so cute because they have, oh, they have the name, the little plaque. Okay, this is the date. And then it has the name. This one's called Varma, I guess, Varma. It's got a bell. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. So I have some from, I saw some with little tags 2021, 2020, I believe. I don't know if they've always put those little tags on there because some of them are missing tags. I don't know if those are from before. But right, what I'm doing right now is I'm setting up for a reel. I have a reel. If you don't know, on Instagram, I do reels on there, which it's fun. I actually like doing the reels better than taking photos at this point. Um, but there's an audio I want to use that I want to use with this, with these birds. Sometimes I post like non-planner related things. I also love Target and Starbucks, so I'll, I'll post things on there. I feel like those tend to get better views. Um, like when I posted about my coffee, those get really good views. So I'm going to use these little birds to do a reel. I'm going to only pick a few. I only need a few of them, so I'm going to go through my collection. And then I have these tiny little ones. Again, I'm going to use this one of these in this reel. So if you're on Instagram, you'll probably see... I'm planning on posting it up today, so you'll probably have already seen it if you're on Instagram. But yeah, plan on featuring these little guys, some of these little guys, in a reel. 
All right, so I got my car back. I only needed a patch. It was only $20. I'm so happy about that. They did try to sell me on new tires, but I don't need new tires yet. So uh, yeah, they always do that kind of stuff. So I wasn't gonna fall for it this time, uh, but I am going to go to my mom's and I'm gonna end the vlog here because when I go over there, I just wanna focus on like, what I have to do there and um yeah just hang out with them so I hope you all enjoyed watching me along this day if you did please give it a thumbs up let me know if you want to see more of this definitely something I can do over the weekends so yeah let me know if you want to see more if you do um please subscribe to my channel hit that thumbs up button um and I hope to see you all in the next one bye